Big announcement from the governor today. Governor Cuomo named the state's attorney general as a special prosecutor for civilian deaths involving police. The governor announced he would use his executive power to make this move after state lawmakers didn't pass the legislation creating that position. It's a crisis in this state, and it is a crisis nationwide. It is a crisis of confidence in the criminal justice system. Joining us now with his take, our political analyst, New York Post political columnist Fred Dicker. Fred, the governor had a lot of pressure on him to get this done. He sure did a lot of political pressure, Cody. You know, you noted that he tried to get this done in the legislature. Well, if he couldn't get it done there, then I guess uh, he didn't get the law that he wanted. Now he's saying he doesn't need the legislature. He can do it himself. This is a very controversial move. It's an insult to all of the state's 62 district attorneys. The governor is saying none of them are competent, that whenever there's a case where a civilian is shot by a cop, he's going to supersede the DA, whatever the merits are, and put Attorney General Eric Schneiderman in. Schneiderman has no criminal justice background, and notwithstanding the general public perception, Cody, the Attorney General in New York is not the state's chief law enforcement officer. He's the state's chief legal officer. The DAs are the law enforcement officers. So I expect a court challenge to this. I think it's an insult to the DAs, but it's very political, as you started out by noting. The flip side to this, as we've seen in a very charged climate over the last year, year and a half, when you have Michael Brown, you've got Eric sure. Garner, is the criticism that local DAs might not be suited to handle these types of cases because they work with police and law enforcement officers every day. Does this kind of separate uh, this sort of investigation from those local municipalities in, in a good way? Well, I think it does it in a bad way. It remains to be seen it's e if it's even going to happen. This is only authority that the governor claims he's granted under the executive law. And as I said, this is going to be challenged, I think. He's granted it for one year. But if he, for instance, felt that the Eric Garner case was mishandled on Staten Island, and many people felt it was, he could have superseded the DA in uh, Staten Island once the grand jury there said that there was no crime committed. He could have moved right on that. But if you look at the group that the governor had around him today, this was an overwhelming group of African-American Democrats at a time when the governor is at his lowest point in the polls. So many people, not, uh, not surprisingly, see this as a political move by the governor. By the way, he's going to be on Al Sharpton's television show tonight touting this uh, decision by him as Al Sharpton is taking some of the credit for it. Interesting. Well, we'll have to keep, a, mm -hmm. keep an eye on any of the challenges coming up. We know you'll do that. Fred, thanks so sure. much. Don't forget, you can hear Fred's radio program live from the state capitol every weekday morning from 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM. Hey, speaking of the relationship between police and the public, we want to remind you about our special town hall on just that topic. That's tomorrow night at 730. You can watch it live on our sub channel, this TV channel 6.2, and you can watch it live at CBS6Albany.com.